Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use Fields module to create a nodes in your Drupal 10 instance. So here I already enabled Fields, fields module. So once you enabled and you go to structure fields type, here you can add a feed type. So now I'm going to add a feed type for basic page content to import. So it's a page content import. And here fetcher. So I'm going to upload a CSV file. And parser, you have to select CSV. And processor, which entity you are going to create? I'm going to create a node. And for which content type? It's for basic page and save it. So these are the fields I'm having for basic page content type. So next, uh, so next you have to do the mapping. So target represents the uh, fields from the basic page and source represents the uh, column name from the CSV file. So first I'm going to select for title. And for title, I'm going to give a source. So it will be new uh, CSV column source. And that is title. And if you want to make it unique, you can select unique. And then next body field. So the column name will be body. And next one is a uh, summary. If you want, you can give or else you can leave it. And next is a uh, tax. So it's an entity reference field. So we have a tax field in the basic page. So I am going to refer it by ID. So it will be referred by term ID update and then here select new csv call source and that is tax and that's it so you just save the mappings once the mappings are saved next what you have to do you have to uh, let me open the csv file which i have i think i don't have let me download it so this is a sample CSV file I have created. So title will be the uh, column name. So you can see title will be the column name for title field, body, and then tax. So as like that, I mentioned title, body, tax. And since we are referring uh, tax by term ID here, so I just mentioned all the term ID, whatever I'm having. So these are the terms I'm having. So you can mention it by term ID. So this is the term ID I'm using in my CSV file. And that's it, I have around uh, six content here and I'm just going to download it as a CSV. Once it is downloaded, now go to content feeds. So before that, let me delete all the contents whatever we have. So we don't have any content in our site and I will add a feed now. And that is a basic page contents and file, the file which we downloaded now. So this is node import CSV file. And then I'm just going to save and import. So once this is done, you can see created six basic page items. So all the items, whatever you created by using this single feed, you can go and check those by clicking on this feeds items tab. So here you can see all the content, whatever created. So when you refresh here, here you can see all the nodes are created. If you edit, you will be able to see all the body field value. So you can see body field value. And then even the tax me terms are referred as we mentioned in the CSV file. So that's it. And this is how to use feeds module to import content in your site by using CSV file. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.